And it's been a little more than a month since Amazon added advertising to its Prime Video programming, all in an effort to boost revenue. While streaming content offered an alternative to expensive cable, Fox 26 business reporter Tom Ziska says those savings are getting tighter. They sure are, Tom. Yeah, Caroline Rasha, good evening to you. When streaming started, it was either free or it cost next to nothing. Now with so many eyes looking for something interesting to watch on the tube, those cheap days are long gone. How can I help you, Ms. Glass? I used to be in business with your father. There's no denying it's pretty easy to find something interesting to watch on a streaming service, but there are so many choices. So just about every major network, and sometimes studios have a streaming service to offer. And CNET's Courtney Jackson says they almost all come with a rising price tag that can make the savings hard to find. A new article from the tech website compares costs between cable and streaming. Finding the gap between the two is narrowing. On average, premium cable TV plus internet runs $217 a month nationally, while live TV streaming like YouTube TV plus internet costs 135 bucks a month. On top of both of them are streaming services frequently added that offer popular programming. And those prices keep going up, pointing to a tipping point for household budgets. I think we may have reached it already. That's why you're seeing the rise of ad-based tiers. You know, Netflix was one of the last holdouts with that, and they finally decided to jump into it and offer that ad-based plan. Um, that is something that offers them another stream of revenue. There are savings that can be found. Credit cards and wireless carriers often have deals to take advantage of and consider fewer services while rotating through those that offer what you want. Maybe choose one or two default services that you know you want to have and then cancel the other ones until you know they have something you actually want to watch. That way you can save money throughout the entire year. So a Forbes survey found that the average household pays about $46 a month for three different streaming services. Your personal experience may be a little bit more than that. But if you're looking for something that is a real bargain, there is this shameless plug. If you're looking for it all, it's uh, the Fox Local app. It's full of content and it's free on your smart TV. All you got to do is download it. Did I mention it's free? How's that for watching your money? I'm Tom Ziska, Fox 26 News. All right, Tom, thank you. Well, tell 26, what's your breaking point for streaming services? You can vote right now on the free Fox 26 News app or the website. And right now, you guys are saying about 60 bucks. All right, the highest is $200. I don't know if it's like the broadcast journalist in me, but I pay for cable and multiple streaming service platforms. I think, no, I think that's the norm. You but think so? I think that a lot of people don't realize how many streaming services they have, like that they've applied to. Yes. Or like, you know, when you buy something and then they're like, oh, you'll get this three months free. And then you forget. Right. Or you just want to watch one show and then you forget to cancel. Yes. Ah, so, I know that. Look through. <laughs>